Hey, I'm Michael B2 Lighting Effects. We're going to compare two different follow spots today. First of all, the Chevet. This is the LED follow spot 75 ST, includes a tripod, and the Eliminator follow spot 100 LED. Now, does that mean there's a 100 watt LED? Does that mean it's a 75 watt LED? We'll find out. First of all, we did some shots of this in the showroom. Now, let me show you that right off the bat. As you can see, the unit on the left, that beam on the left, is the Chauvet unit. The beam on the right is the Eliminator unit. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but the beam on the right side is much brighter and wider than the beam on the left. Now, something else I noticed between these two follow spots, they both have a faint octagon shape on the beam, but take a look at this. The Chauvet unit on the left has a very severe octagon shape, depending on how big you make the beam. The Eliminator follow spot has very faint octagon, and if you sharpen it real sharp, you don't see the octagon at all. So, I like that a little bit better, the Eliminator unit versus the Chauvet unit. Now, here's something that I really didn't like about the Chauvet follow spot. The, when you shut the iris, take a look at this scene. When you shut the iris, you still have a beam shooting up. You cannot shut it completely. Now, when you shut the iris on the Eliminator unit, it completely goes black. Now, I was talking to one of the people in customer service at Chauvet, and I said, how do we you know, solve that problem? He said, what you do is you just fade it out as you're closing the iris so that you can go to black. Where with the Eliminator unit, you don't have to worry about fading it out. You can just go full black. Now, on the Eliminator unit, as you're fading out, you're going to notice it's going to be going, the beam's going to be going shrinking down, and then all of a sudden you're going to see this black thing go right in front to make it go black. So you just speed up the iris shut shutter thing anyway. Let me show you the unit right here. This is the Eliminator. It's called the Follow Spot 100 LED. And here's something interesting about this before I show you the, the, the features on it. It says Follow Spot 100 LED. It's actually, the instructions say it's a 70 watt. LED bulb. The Chauvet unit says that they have a 75 watt LED bulb. Talk to the manufacturer about this unit here, the Eliminator. It actually has a 90 watt LED. Go figure. That's why it's brighter and it's whiter. Both the Chauvet and the Eliminator follow spots have eight different colors. Actually, it's seven colors plus white. This is how they call it eight. Anyway, let me show you the back of the unit. Here are the buttons to change the color. Very simple to do. By pressing this button, you got white, or red, yellow. This is blue, green, purple, orange, and pink. Up here, you got your dimming, and then your brightness going up, dimmer going down. Over here, blackout, instant blackout, or full on. Over here is for your DMX. You do not need DMX to operate either of these follow spots. And because really, all you need to do is have a person standing right behind the follow spot to follow the person anyway. So DMX is not needed. Then of course, here's your power switch. So there it is. And then on the top of the unit, we got our focus knobs here, and we have our iris knob here. It's all manual. You got your electronic, of course, your electronic push buttons. Makes it real easy. The shutter speed is a little bit, not the shutter speed, the color change on the Eliminator unit is a little bit slower than the Chauvet unit. Chauvet mm -hmm. unit is a little bit faster. Now. I, I don't want to completely put down Chauvet. It's a good unit. They're the same price. This one comes with a free tripod. This one does not. Although, when you, when you buy it from me, you get a free, tri free tripod. It's a free tripod with it. It's a stand for it. Again, it's a 90 watt LED. This is a 75 watt LED, so it's naturally brighter. They're both the same price. This one comes with a tripod in the box. This one does not, but this one is brighter. So it's sort of like a cross 22. Let me show you this with this unit. Last night, I shot this across the street from at night from my store. So take a look at this beam. That's a, that beam is on the side of the post office across the street. That is pretty impressive. Nice, bright, white, wide beam. I would say, value for your money, brighter for the same price as this one that comes with a tripod. If you buy it from me, of course, you get a free tripod. Tree, free, I can't say that today. You get a free tripod anyway. So, on this one, I'm going for the Follow Spot 100 LED from Eliminator Lighting. Hey, thanks a lot.
Today we're going to take a look between two blah, 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 blah. I learned that from you, Mike. The edge is sort of like an a, a, blah, 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 uh, octagon, but it's brighter and it's whiter. So fresh and so clean. Anyway. <laughs>